Aloha boy, but on interwaves. Today I want to do a quick video on some advanced troubleshooting. I already have some advanced troubleshooting out there, but um, related to the firmware uh, 1.4, 1.48. So quickly, um, I prefer to do the uh, upgrade on the USB stick. Uh, I've done it a couple of times through the network, and I think even right before this, two days ago, even though the 1.48 was out. Um, it was still trying to pick up uh, 1.35, 1.36. Sorry, I'm not exact. But to do this, um, you go ahead and just press the setup button on the remote control. Get too close. All right. Then you go ahead and go to function. All right. Go ahead and go to firmware update. And again, I like to use the USB. Okay, the USB update. Um, if network update, if, it was, if there was one out there and you're connected to the network, which I am hardwired, um, then it would actually show you there's one available. So again, a little early, I did try that, um, and I'll tell you why. Because I was troubleshooting, and I couldn't get video to come out from my... The way I wired it is I have my um, Apple TV going into HDMI 1 here, going out to um, HDMI ARC into my ARC on my TV, just so it's only one cable, ARC, HDMI 4, one cable going into my receiver. And if I wanted extra um, sources like a cable box or Xbox, then we'll go into HDMI 2, 3, 4, things like that. That's how I have, have a cable. It wouldn't show video. Um, so the quickest and easiest way without reinitialization and doing all that kind of thing, and, that, and especially if you didn't, do any changes to your settings, okay? Um, even before you check out your cables, because you haven't moved anything. If you moved something, I, you know, look at my videos. If you moved anything, move your 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 cadenza out or your um, your TV mount out or moved your TV, wiggled your bike cables. If you did any of that, check your cables, check your connections. But if you didn't do any of that, the quickest thing to do is go ahead and just unplug your amp, unplug your amp and replug it. And I had to do that, right? Uh, so just before you do anything with your changes and all that kind of thing, right? So that is something I really wanted to, uh, um, uh, re have it, you know, top of your mind. Uh, that's the first thing you should do if you didn't do anything with the cabling and moving and equipment and things like that. But also that's how you do the USB update. It takes, um, it does its rounds. It's erasing and things like that. Um, you definitely need a USB stick. You go to the interwebs, you go and you Google, uh, TSR 700 RX uh, V6A, you get the latest upgrade, um, you download it, you copy the .bin file, .bin file, and then you move it over to it so it's on the, the, the root, which is the first level of your USB stick, you put it in there, turn it on, USB update, all right? And then the only thing that I really saw is, of course, it, I, I can't test it because I don't have, um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't do a lot of gaming, but it has the uh, ability to it has the ability to give you these other input settings on the HDMI, uh, which is over here. I've checked all of the menu already, all right? So this is where you see that the biggest parts of the upgrade. You go to your HDMI. You go down here to video format. And you see the new formats, right? You see the, the uh, 4K at 120 and at 600, uh, 60 hertz. You say it just at, at 4K 60 hertz for troubleshooting, just in case your device is getting confused. And of course, now the new 8K mode, which is the, the newest um, uh, newest upgrade on there, okay? Which is the 60K and 4K 120. I don't have any 8K products, and I'm doing gaming. So um, uh, please research the other other um, community members out there doing those kind of reviews at that advanced level. But again, I just wanted to show you a quick troubleshooting before you go crazy, pull your hair out if you have any hair, and then... Uh, what these changes are and how I usually do my USB upgrades. I want to make this pretty short. Outside of that, play around with this setting. Okay. Well, first of all, did you know that you had these advanced settings if you press option? So if you press option, you have all these other settings here. I don't really do anything. The only thing I do here for, if we, if you haven't seen my other videos, is on the, uh, on the YPAO volume. I do turn, I do turn the YPAO volume on and I do the adapter DRC on. Um, it gets you a little bit better, uh, um, sound when you have the low volumes, okay? Kind of like dynamic range, but more, this actually helps with the lower volume, so um, it just smooths, smooths it out. So I turn those on. Play with it if you haven't done that. It's actually in my other video. And then go back. 
press option again to go back and go to settings. One other thing I wanted, it came out probably at 1.35, I think, where you can go ahead and, is it sound? Is it sound? Okay, go ahead and go to virtual speaker, and these options became available. Um, play with Dolby speaker virtual on. Right now it's on off. All right, I play with it. I actually do prefer what's on, and I can turn it on right now. And I do like it, and that really is virtualizing uh, Adobe Atmos, right? Which they, some people call Adobe Fake Most. It makes a difference. Play around with it, depending on your configurations, right? I've turned it on um, with another configuration that I that I help one of my friends, and they only have a 3.1 soundbar system, and it makes a difference. Of course, um, if you haven't seen my setup, I used uh, Yamo uh, Atmos um, ceiling firing speakers and have a good, decent-sized, normal ceiling, so it actually works for me. So play around with those. Um, I go off and on of what they are, depending on what I'm watching. And I wanted to show you that advanced option button, okay? So hopefully this helps you. Please post any questions uh, that you have um, or rewind the video. Uh, I just wanted to go, kind of give you what I just went through on a, TS, on a TSR 700, as well as um, trying to save you some time. If there's, if there's anything here to help you, please like and subscribe, or just go ahead and give me some comments on how I can make this video content better. And uh, hope to see you soon.